So this question is a diagram question. Any question that provides some visual input, I'm going to call a diagram question for this test. Uh, more specifically, this is a graph question, right? So whenever I see a graph provided, I am always looking for the ordered pairs that I may be able to use to plug into my answer choices. So I'm going to just identify some of those. I see one here at 3, comma, negative 4. I see one here at 2, negative 1. I see one here at 1, 2, and I see this y-intercept here at 0, 5. The question says the graph of the linear function p is shown. Which equation defines p? So there are a number of ways that I can solve this question. First of all, I'm going to say as a habit, whenever you see the term linear function, you should be thinking of y equals mx plus b, right? In this case, our y is a function p, so we could think of it as p of x equals m x plus b and that means all we would need to do is figure out the slope and the y-intercept and we'd have a solution right so we can do that really quickly because we know that the y-intercept here is at 5 so b is 5 I can also figure out the slope right so if I go from 5 down 1 2 3 and to the right once I get to this next point here so I went down 1 I'm sorry down 3 so that's a negative 3 and to the right one, so that's positive one. So my slope, which is <clears throat> rise over run, my rise was negative three because it went down. My run was positive one. So my slope is negative three. So my equation that I should get here, or my function should be P of X equals negative three X plus five. Now I could also, right, so we know that that makes answer choice A correct, but I could also just as easily have said, well, if I know that I have this ordered pair right here, which says that when x is 3, y should equal negative 4, I can take those two numbers and plug them into my equation. So for answer choice A, I'd replace p of x with negative 4, right? Because p of x and y are the same thing. I replace this x here with a positive 3. And then I just check it out. Is it true that negative 3 times positive 3, which is negative 9, plus 5 is equal to negative 4? Yes, it is. Negative 9 plus 5 does, in fact, equal negative 4. I would assume that is the only answer choice that gets us that by plugging in x equals 3 and y equals negative 4. And that would be another way to get the answer. That strategy is more so something that I call plug-in information from the question, right? We're using the graph to take the ordered pairs out to then plug in X and Y values to determine which equation is correct. So two methods, both equally good, whatever you feel most comfortable with, but the answer here is choice A.